This is Paul McKenna for PT Box and I'm here today, down in Leeds with me, Josh Warrington, how are you mate, okay, I'm good? very well mate, very well, thanks for coming over. No problem, good stuff. Uh, your next fight against uh, Amagasa, tough fight, um, obviously everyone knows him, obviously being in with Rigan Dow, giving him a tough fight, and uh, excited now, and, and the biggest fight in your career up to date. Yeah, very much so, I mean, um, you know, people talk about the Rigondo fight. Don't forget Rigondo, we're talking pound for pound best in the world here. Yeah. And um, I'm, I'm not saying I'm at, I'm at that level, but you know, I'm going to have to be like that. And yeah. It's going to be a tough fight. I, you know, there's no joking about it. He's a tough opponent. He comes and he took some pasty off of the pound for pound best. So um, I'm going to be off to, going to have to be on my top game. Yeah. Um, I'm training like a demon already. Mm. And also for me. There's a big rewards to come after this fight, you know, yeah. the talk of Lee Selby yeah. and moving on to world level and to prove I'm there, mm. to be serious and genuinely prove that I'm there, yeah. I need to win this fight and, That's it. you know, he's given that fear factor. Definitely, as you've just said up there, you know, on, on the table you sort of get a lot of critics and people are labelling this fight as, as definitely your toughest fight and if you come through this fight it's, you know, it's almost going to be a 50-50 fight with Lee Selby, so make a statement against Amagasa and, and then and then we'll level we'll level it in 2016. Yeah, this is it. I mean, people look at Selby's last couple of performances mm. um, and all of a sudden, I mean, at one stage we were really close yeah. and the next minute he won the world title and fair, fair play to him. It, yeah. you know, it takes a good fire to beat a champion, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, but um, I just believe that I've got what it takes to beat him. Mm. I really do, and I've been saying it for a, for a while now. Yeah. And he was a good fighter, and it would be a tough fight, but you know, he's already talking like his levels above me, and after his last performance, I think he needs to just come back down to earth a little bit, be a little bit more yeah. humble, and keep his feet a little bit more on ground. Mm. You know, he's already talking about big uni unification fights with like yeah, yeah, yeah. Santa Cruz and stuff like that. Just keep it more to home, and mm. you know, get that win under your belt when you're next down, once yeah. that hunter, mm. and then, you know, we'll talk about fighting, and That's I think it. it'll be a very good fight. That's it, if, if, uh, if it was possible to get 40,000 in, in Ellen Road, then I, I'm sure it would be an absolutely insane atmosphere. So. I think people have come, anyway, I think they've come, for a number of reasons, I think they've come and see me get beat, yeah. they come to support me, I mean, people all over Leeds are the, the craving it, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. every time I walk past someone, it's Wednesday, that big one at Ellen Road, and it'd yeah. be a massive event, Definitely. you know, there's, 70, there's 700,000 people, people in Leeds or, or plus that yeah. Um, yeah. and I think people come up from all over the country to watch it so uh, it'll be an element event 100% an event, yeah. ok mate well uh, best of luck against Amagasha and yeah. uh, I'm sure we'll catch up with you That's soon the one I've got to get through first yeah. that's it top man thank you cheers mate